Okay, in this lesson we're going to go ahead and sign up for our, our free Visual Studio Online account and get uh, our basic registration and the software going. So, um, if you look at the browser here, uh, I've, I've brought up Google and this is the link to the Visual Studio Online. So if you want to go directly to the URL, this is the URL that's uh, indicated. So we see uh, some some documentation here about about the account and uh, um, and what you need to get started. So we're just going to go ahead and select Get Started for Free. So one of the requirements for using Visual Studio Online is you have to have a Microsoft account. So um, there's a link in here that you can go ahead and sign up for a Microsoft account if you don't have one. Um, I, I already have an account established, so we'll go ahead and use that, and I'll show you what that looks like then. So, um, And if you don't have a Microsoft account and you have to sign up for one, it just takes a few minutes to do it. So, with any luck. With any luck, I didn't type that wrong, and I sure enough did. So there we go. Fixed my typo. So now it shows me my uh, free account, what's included with my account. Um, it asking me for some um, verification of some uh, 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 additional information. So in this piece right now, um, it will ask for an account URL. So um, you can customize then the URL, and I'm going to put in Frick Software. And um, here we go. I think that's enough information right there. You'll notice the uh, things that are included the five basic users, the unlimited stakeholders, unlimited uh, for MSDN subscribers. If, if you have some people that want to join your software team or work on a project that already have MSDN subscriptions, uh, you can have an unlimited number of uh, MSDN subscribers subscribe to the project. Unlimited team projects is a private code repository, free work and item tracking for all users, and 60 minutes of build um, per month, as well as uh, 20K virtual users as well. So. so um, I'll go ahead and create the account. Seem to be having difficulty with the URL. So you may find some conflicts in the URL that you're using. I'm going to go ahead and create my first project uh, in Visual Studio. So it's going to ask me for a project name. So as no surprise, I'm going to create the project Hello World. And it asked me uh, which version control I would like to use, whether I'm going to use uh, Team Foundation version control or Get. In this case, I'm going to use Team Foundation version control. So it's going through the uh, setup process right now and is going to go ahead and uh, create my, my project. And there we go. So. Uh, Right now, it asks me if I want to go ahead and manage my work items or, or add code to this. Uh, we'll cover both of those in, in the next lesson, but for right now, we've, we've uh, um, signed in. We've created our free account. Um, we've set up our first project, and, and in the next lesson, we'll walk through then all the pieces um, 
uh, in our, our, our example that we're going to go through to show the basic operation of Visual Studio Online and how to have it interface to um, Visual Studio uh, Community Edition as well. So um, that's it for this lesson. Uh, I'll see you in the next lesson where we kind of demonstrate Visual Studio Online and how all the pieces fit together. All right, thank you so much, and we'll see you in the next lesson.